Okay, you'll just you'll catch it, whatever. It's all right. Because at the beginning, I'm not going to be in the demo. Um, I don't know if she mentioned to you about our company, but Rex Air has been in business for a long, long time. Have y'all ever heard of Rainbow before? Oh yeah, my parents have one. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, we've come a long way. Uh, this is our world headquarters now, uh, and we're made here in the U.S., just so you know. We're sold all around the world, Japan, Italy, France, anything you can think of. They put out a little monthly publication, and as you can see at the top, there's Philippines, Spain, okay? Uh, so we're sold all around the world. We're even sold in places, guys, that you wouldn't even think we're being sold at, which is like Saudi Arabia, Kuwait. I mean, you wouldn't think we'd be selling rainbows over there, right? So we're sold all around the world. It's crazy, all right? This is this is what look, see. That guy right there. He yeah, said, "Look, he's from Otago." He does. He doesn't do. So the reason I like to mention that is because we sell about thirty-five thousand rainbows a month worldwide. So we're a pretty large company. Okay. What's well, kind of impressive? We've been in business for eighty-three years, and Stephanie, we've sold one product one way for eighty-three years. Mm -hmm. One product one way. That's impressive for mm -hmm. a company to stay in business that long. So what we do is all of our visits are like this. Uh, she had mentioned, and we, yeah, we're kind of joking about it, but really seriously, it is a good way to make some extra money you know, in your spare time. The most people that work with us are doing one of two things when they first start. They're either earning their money back or earning a rainbow, one of the two. Okay? Uh, if you earn your money back, it's, you're basically making money while you're doing it. It's not replacing your income. You're actually making income while you're earning the money back on the rainbow. That's how Tony actually got involved. Uh, so, so one of our reps went out and seen her. She bought the rainbow. They talked to her about it. She came in, went to work with us. Her first weekend, she made eight hundred dollars. Her first weekend, and how many hours was that? Ten hours. Yeah, about ten hours. So again, it's just a great way to make some extra mm -hmm. income. Um, so if you know of anybody or if yourself would be interested, it really is it, it, two or three of the main things: flexibility. You don't have the same schedule. Um, no investment. No door-to-door -door selling. So people know we're coming. You knew what we were going to do when we came here tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what's the cool thing about it, is, is that. And then we have all of the gifts and everything that we offer, the company pays for them. We just have to offer the programs to people, okay? So it's just a matter of learning a little bit of a presentation. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that to you, that we're always looking for reps. So if you know of anybody, kind of keep this in mind. It's really a, a good way to supplement your income or to earn your money back if you are interested in one. Um, basically, uh, she's already covered our advertising programs, but you know, guys, it's kind of funny, but if you've ever seen the sun shine through the window for a hot sunny day, what do you see floating around in the air? Yep. That's yeah. what this light sport is, the sunshine. We don't have sunshine at night. So what we do uh, is we just bring this little light along. It's kind of our fake sunshine. But you see that stuff floating around? Okay. Now, I perform magic. Are you ready? Abracadabra. Then it's not going to get much better. Okay. I'm just, <laughs> just funny. Just I try to be I'm funny. Hold my back. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Okay. That shows up. Yeah, that shows up. <laughs> okay. Here's the. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm breaking down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, so when we walk across the floor, what do we do? You stir it up. Even on a hard surface floor, we, we, any movement we make, we're constantly stirring up the dust. We sit down on a couch or a chair, open and shut the drying draperies. Anything we do, we're constantly stirring this up. Now, if we stir it up in the air, two things happen. First of all, gravity. Whatever goes up, comes down, right? And that's what lands on our lampshades, the moldings, everything in the home, our furnishings. Our kitchen countertops, everything in the home gets a coating of this. The other thing is, we breathe, right? We hope so anyway, right? <laughs> so Stephanie, guess what we're doing with this? You know, we're breathing it, right? Now think about little children, not saying this in a bad way, but around the crawling age, they're right down there on the front line. Mm -hmm. That's what they're breathing constantly, okay? So that's why there's so much allergies and breathing problems in the world today. <clears throat> the human body needs three things to live, food, water, and air. I think you'd agree with that. We can go a few days without food and water. Can't go a few days without air, right? Okay. How long do you think we can go without air? Minutes, right? Yeah. Not long. I mean, we were talking about first aid a minute ago. I think they say five to six minutes before mm -hmm. we suffer permanent brain damage. So air is the most important thing on the page. But if we, if we realize we put more food, more, more emphasis. Hey, he oh, stirred up some Yeah, he did, did he? Yes, man. exactly. Okay. Uh, with food and water, though, uh, guys, we, we, we put more importance on that than we do the actual air we breathe. You know, you wouldn't lick the bottom of your shoe. Certainly not licking the bottom of mine. You don't know where I've been right here. Okay. But what I'm saying is, is when we track stuff in our home, what was on the bottom of our shoe now is in our home. And then we stir it up and breathe what was on the bottom of our shoe. So again, it's not a very healthy thought. What they're finding though is the air inside your house is more hazardous and, or less fit to breathe than the air outside is. Up to eight times more polluted inside your home than outside. When you think about air pollution, you think about it being outside, outdoor, right? 
But you know what kind of contradicts that in our brain is when you want fresh air, where do you go? Outside. Uh, <laughs> which do we listen to, right? Okay. The reason the air is fresh is because rain, sleet, snow, so it's been washed. And inside it don't have that, you know, we don't have that happening. Okay. When you take that dust and magnify it, this is what it looks like. This is a string of pet hair right here. This is pollen. You see why we cough and sneeze so much with that, with them little burrs and spurs on it. These little guys right here are called dust mites. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit larger of a picture of him. You know, you see advertisements on TV about replace your mattress every eight years and your pillows every two. Well, this is the, one of the main reasons why. Yeah. It's because they inhabit that. And that's why you can't sell or use mattress. You're not supposed to. And now Goodwill won't even take a used bed mattress because you're donating your dead skin. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, in reality. So, again, these things right here is not very healthy to look at. But that, the sad thing is, as we're walking around here breathing, guess what we're doing? We're breathing. There goes one of them dust mites. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they're so small you can't see them with the human eye. 7,000 of them fit on a finger nail, okay? Uh, so you can imagine, 7,000, okay? And, and they're, they're so small that, again, they're microscopic. Um, as it says here, there's over 200,000 of them in a typical pillar. It's amazing. It? <laughs> it feels like it. Yeah. So can you imagine laying your head down with 250,000 of those crawling around us? That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Where do you eat? <laughs> We don't fit, you know, they don't, luckily they don't bite us or anything like that. This is going to sound even worse, Stephanie, but it's actually the waste of the mite that causes the allergies and the breathing problems. So these things produce six to eight pellets a day, and that's actually what we end up breathing. And that's why we wake up in the morning more stuffy than when we go to bed. You know, if there's one time a day you're going to blow your nose, it's normally early in the morning. And then we kind of get an idea why, right? Okay. <clears throat> when we breathe polluted air, it causes things like headaches, watery eyes, runny noses, coughing, season, all those things that we associate with breathing. I'm sure y'all have had some of these symptoms, I'm sure. Daily. 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 Mm -hmm. Polluted air is actually where it's responsible for a lot of these things that we do, okay? Um, you know, we wouldn't think, but think about just breathing paint fumes. You might not be allergic to paint fumes, but it'll give you a headache. Oh, yeah. That's your body's way of saying what I'm breathing is not healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. So what our what our company has done is we realized this is a problem, and we our, our product was invented by an allergy specialist, and he had realized this was a problem back in 1936, and he said, "How do we clean the air?" So he came up with the solution that Mother Nature passes moisture through the air. So he said, "I can't take a water hose and spray people's house down." I mean, you know. So he invented a little machine to take the air and pass it through water and clean it and put the air back out into the room. So that's how we actually, the rainbow was born, is it was born out of necessity to help people with allergies and breathing problems. The sad thing is in the early 30s, guess what? Wasn't a lot of allergies and breathing problems. So he had to put hoses and attachments on it and sell it as a vacuum cleaner for some <laughs> That's what people know is more as anything, because everybody needed one of those. <clears throat> so we were ahead of our time, again, 83 years ago. Mother Nature uses water, that's where our concept was born, is because of the same thing Mother Nature does. You know, our product is the only vacuum on the market that's certified and verified as an air purifier. There's no other vacuum on the market that's certified and verified to clean the very air you breathe. And we are also certified by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation. So again, we are certified to help people with allergies and allergies like you are, Darren. So again, our product has been around for a long time, but I'm, and we're glad to finally see that we have those certifications. A couple of the main reasons we have the certifications is because of our filter. Everything we pick up, everything we goes through our machine has to go through water first. So let's set it up here so we can see it. If you notice right here with this little water bowl, we've just got fresh clean water, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the way the machine's designed, Stephanie, is it's got a small opening and a large opening. A smaller opening is where the air and dirt go in, it goes through the water, it gets washed, the clean air comes back up through the top, back up through the motor, back out into the air. So 100% of everything you pick up has to go through water, right? So it gets clean. Okay, so that's the main reason is because you never come in contact with dry dust. If you take a regular air purifier, you have to clean and change filters, which puts you back in contact mm -hmm. with the contaminant. Our product is water, so you never come in contact with dry dust. The other reason we're certified, you might know a lot more about this than I do, but our product and our motor on our product is actually what's called a magneto motor. It's a brushless motor. So there's no carbon brushes in our product. I don't know if you know much about that, but the standard electric motor is made to last somewhere around 20 years. A brushless motor is made to last two to three times longer. So the rainbow is made to last about 50 years because there's nothing to wear out. There's no art. There's no carbon brushes. There's nothing being put back out in the air by the motor itself. So I didn't get this plugged in. I'm going to change the motor out.